Good morning, Sagittarius. My name is Renee. This is your reading for December 1st through the 15th. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Now, Sagittarius, as I was resonating on your energy, I was really visioning the Ten of Cups. And for some reason, the rainbow just really stood out. But I feel like a lot of happiness is coming towards you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the storyteller. What else do we have for Sagittarius? Yeah, it could be that you're a writer or you like to journal. You may keep a diary. You may keep a soul journal. You also have uncharted sea. Okay. What else do we have for Sagittarius? I'm feeling like one more card. Okay, we have sea and beyond. Yeah, so I feel like Wherever it is that you're going, whatever it is that you're manifesting, whatever it is that you're doing, you're using your third eye to see it, Sagittarius. I really feel like you are following your intuition and it's leading you into some place you've never been. And you may be writing these down in your journal. This may be some shadow work that you're doing. This may be a dream journal that you're doing, but I really feel like whatever this is, I feel like it is opening your intuition and your capabilities of seeing um, the path that you need to follow more clearly. You also have the bottom, the Oracle's gift. So I feel like, yeah, the universe wants to gift you with something. Someone wants to gift you with something, which, which is very, it, I mean, it's just kind of obvious. That's not really a big surprise, Sagittarius. This is your month. This is your birthday month. Happy birthday. Um, and we also have Christmas and celebrations and so forth. So receiving a gift, that's not very surprising at this moment. But I, I feel like this gift that you're receiving is something out of the ordinary. It's not an ordinary gift that you would receive. Let's get an angel card. You have Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So yes, Sagittarius, I feel like you take care of a lot of people. <laughs> Now, you may also want to look at, I feel like it was Scorpio. It was Scorpio, and they got these same two cards. Now, I shuffle the deck, so you shouldn't have got the same cards as Scorpio, but you have. Uh, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. So yeah, I'm, I feel like I feel like you are you're obviously someone people who come to some you're the person they come to when they need advice, when they need wisdom. 
when they need a shoulder to cry on. I feel like you're the one, Sage. Okay, you also have Indriel. You are the light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Yeah, I feel like in your words, I feel like there's healing. I feel like there's healing in your words, um, Sagittarius. I feel like that's the reason why people come to you. I feel like you are a very soulful, um, a very loving character. And you, you have that nurturing spirit about you. Maybe you have children who are coming to you for advice or you have friends or family, co-workers. But someone finds you as very informative, very nurturing, very caring. This is almost like the Queen of Cups energy. Very supportive. Let's get some monology for Sagittarius, please. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius for December 1st through the 15th? What messages do we have for Sag? Okay. Yeah, a time for healing, the balsamic moon. So I feel like as you're counseling other people, I feel like you're also healing yourself. Um... I feel like there's healing, there's power in helping someone else find their power. There's, there's a very healing moment of watching someone else heal and be nurtured. And what do you need to release? The waning moon. Okay. So yeah. Especially when people come with problems or very intense challenges, I feel like those are the things that you really don't want to take within yourself. I feel like once someone gives you that energy, that negative energy, that instead of bringing yourself down with that energy, yeah, I feel like you should release it. <laughs> exactly what I was saying. Okay, Sagittarius, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Yeah, so you may want to take a look at the Scorpio reading. That may be very interesting for you, Sagittarius. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? For December 1st through the 15th, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? What messages, please? Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. Ooh. We have the Page of Cups. The Ten of Cups. That's exactly what I was feeling. And that's your, your overall energy, Sagittarius. The Ten of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Tower. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Queen of Wands. Very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. So yeah, I feel like, 
I feel like Sagittarius, um, you've been focused on other people for so long that you've kind of, it may be that you're single. It may be that you're looking for your king of swords. You may be looking for your king, your love. That may be what's going to come in. But I feel like you hold all the power within yourself. It's like you're the, the lantern, Sagittarius, and you're beaming this bright light across everyone that you love, everyone you care about. I feel like you're beaming your light. across them to make sure their cup is full but i feel like you're not really focusing on your own cup i feel like maybe you're um you're not focusing on yourself at the moment and maybe you need to be With this Seven of Swords energy, I feel like you are you're leaving a certain situation in the past. You're trying to let go of any negativity that you're holding on to. You really want this new beginning. You really want a lot of change. That's the reason why you have the Ace of Wands. And you have the tower in this reading. Um, now the wheel, the wheel of fortune is also a card of change. But I feel like this change is not going to come without any challenges. I feel like you're going to be challenged to work just a little bit more on yourself. To really dive deep into your soul to create this change. I believe that's the reason why you have this Ace of Swords and this Five of, um, excuse me, the Ace of Wands and this Five of Swords. Because uh, Spirit is letting you know that you really need to dive deep and conquer your challenges for this new beginning to come through. And I feel like this new beginning, see you have the Ace of Wands to the Ten of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune. So this new beginning is all of your happiness, all of your contentment. This is your happy ending. And this Wheel of Fortune, this Wheel of Fortune is you making this possible. I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune energy, you are creating this change. And you may have had a tower. Or you may have a tower in the future. Um, but I feel like it's a blessing in disguise. I feel like whatever this is, it was built on sand. It wasn't built on concrete. It wasn't built on a stable foundation. And I feel like you needed this change, this huge, drastic change, in order to come to this point for this good fortune, for this good change. Focus. I feel like the tower is actually redirecting you where you need to go to find your happiness. That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this tower is your redirection. And I feel like with this with this page of cups this may be someone who is trying to hinder your progress. 
with the seven of swords and the page of cups yeah i definitely feel like this may this person is kind of blocking your blessings so to say they're kind of blocking your blessings but your blessings are coming regardless it can't stop them nothing can be stopped what is meant for you if it's meant for you it will come in due time now with the five of swords the eight of wands and the queen of wands i feel like yeah you're going to go through challenges you're going to go through setbacks and conflicts but i feel like you're pressing forward and I feel like some kind of communication is going to come forward. Um, maybe that communication is from someone who's delivering help to you. But for some reason, I feel like it's the universe itself that's pushing and guiding you into the right direction. And I feel like it's doing so by you tapping into your intuition and following what you know your passions are. The Queen of Wands, she's very passionate. She's very confident. She's very self-assured. And I feel like your confidence, you are uh, being so assertive in your situation. I feel like there's no way but up in your situation. Very interesting, Sagittarius. Very interesting reading so far. Let's try to clarify these cards a little bit. Let's see what these mean. Let's get some more clarity. Spirit, guys, and angels, please deliver me a message for Sagittarius for December 1st through the 15th. What messages does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, with the... Seven of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands again. Yeah, so nothing can stop this. Nothing can stop this new beginning. This is the universe letting you know this progress has been started. And you have no way but up. You are inspiring. You're creating something. You have manifested this huge change. And whatever this change is, it's left you very happy, joyful. Very interesting. Okay, what is this? Give me a card for this Ace of Wands. Give me a card for this Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Wands twice, so the universe is letting you know I mean what I say. This is a fiery, a fiery new beginning. You have the full card. Yes, that's the energy that I was feeling. This is something brand new for you, Sagittarius. This is something that's so eye-opening. I can feel that you are like exuding this, this light from yourself. What is this five of swords? Tell me more about this five of swords, please. The will of fortune again. Yeah. <laughs> So, whatever challenges that you're going to go through, whatever drama or conflict tries to come your way, it cannot block this change. This is something that is totally meant for you, and nothing can stop it, Sagittarius. This is totally meant for you. Look at this. At the bottom, you have the world. This is a life-changing moment. A life-changing moment. You have ended one cycle. 
you've ended one cycle with the tower. Something that was not stable has crumbled. But in the midst of that situation that has crumbled, it set you free. This person was locked into this tower. There was no way out. And with this explosion, with this lightning from the universe, it actually set him free. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm just I'm just amazed about this reading right now. Uh, what is this Page of Cups, Energy Spirit? Please give me a message for this Page of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this Page of Cups energy, they're afraid of you moving on. They're afraid of you expanding yourself to a level that they can't reach. They're afraid that you're progressing so much. Excuse me. Forgive my phone. Um, they're afraid that you're expanding so much that you're going to leave them behind. That leaves them with worry. They have a lot of sleepless nights. Yeah, see, you have uh, the Nine of Cups. So I feel like, you know what, in the end, I feel like they're going to understand that they're not able to block your blessings. They're not able to block it. So if they want to stay on your ship, they need to go in your direction. And that's, that's exactly what I'm feeling. If they want to stay on your ship, they need to move in your direction, uh, Sagittarius. What is this Ace of Wands? The Queen of Swords. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like the moves that you're making are totally taking you into this next step. And I feel like there may be some people who won't understand it. Won't believe in the abilities that you have. But I, I, I feel like you're standing on your truth. You're standing on everything that you believe. And I think that you have the right to do so. I think that that's the right direction for you to take. Is to stand on your power, Sagittarius. With the tower, you have the two of pentacles. So I feel like once you go through this tower situation I feel like you're it's gonna be like uh, a relief I, I feel like you you understood that this wasn't built on solid ground and um, I'm not quite sure what the situation is but I feel like you're not even really upset about the situation I feel like you're just relieved you're relieved that you're free. With this Wheel of Fortune, you have the Page of Swords. So with this Wheel of Fortune and this Page of Swords, I'm feeling like once you make this turning point, and I just dropped all these cards, but I feel like once you make this turning point, I feel like you're actually going to see who is down with you and who's not, 
who has your back, who has their best interests. At heart, yeah, I feel like you are really going to see who's there to support you and who's not. So I feel like a lot of truths are definitely going to come out of this situation. I feel like you're finally going to see certain people, not everybody, but certain people for who they really are. Okay. What is this Queen of Wands? Who is this Queen of Wands? Can you clarify this Queen of Wands for me, please, spirits? The Ace of Cups. So, this Queen of Wands energy, this may be your energy, but I'm feeling like it's someone else's. I feel like this is really a this could be a new beginning to you opening up to love um now this queen of wands this may be male or female they just may have the qualities but i feel like if this isn't love i feel like it's something that you're very passionate about it's something that is um opening you up to new passions, new abilities, new spirituality. Very interesting. Now you also have the emperor on the bottom. So if this is love, I feel like this is the person that you've been waiting for. I feel like you know, the emperor energy, he's like all of the queens, all of those, all of those qualities in one. He's the ultimate masculine. And I feel like he's very respected. He's a great planner. He's got a lot of wisdom. And um, I'm feeling he may be an older person or she, um, because I'm not putting any gender on this. This could be a male or a female energy, but I feel like this is very strong, very capable, very take charge kind of energy. Interesting. Sagittarius. Yeah, and you have the world card again. Definitely. Definitely. And the six of pentacles on the bottom. So, Sagittarius, I feel like you've given so much in the past. I feel like you're going to be on the receiving end. And I feel like you're on the receiving end for the first time in a while. I feel like you have always been the giver, the giver, the giver. And now I believe that you are going to receive. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Okay, I, I feel like um, maybe you're able to give such good advice because you've been through so much. When I'm in alignment with love, of the universe peace cannot be disrupted yeah so that that's just what i feel right here with this page of cups and nine of swords energy and this seven of swords i feel like when you are totally aligned with the direction the universe wants you to flow i feel like no matter what is said or done Whatever challenges you come to, I feel like you can't be rocked. You can't be disrupted in any way. Okay, Sagittarius, that is your reading. 
If this reading resonated with you, please like and subscribe, hit that bell. If you made it this far, in the comment section below, type claim it. Claim it as your own. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Have a wonderful birthday month, Sagittarius. Happy birthday to you. And many blessings to you. Love and light.